Well, we want to thank you all for being with us today. Delaware County would like to make a special announcement today regarding budgets. Um, I'd like to introduce our fellow council members, our chairman, Mario Severo, council member, John McBlain, Mike Culp, and Dave White. And my name is Colleen Marone, the vice chairman of county council. Um, we all know that budgets are very difficult. We all have increasing costs and decreasing revenues. We work very hard here in Delaware County to make sure that we're addressing the impact of our budget and the budget on our residents in the county. We see the impact of budgets all over, budgets at a local level, budgets at a county level, budgets at a state level, budgets at a national level. And they're difficult at all levels, and we see them in front of us each and every day. We take a different approach to budgeting here in Delaware County. Our budgeting process is all year. We talk about the budget, we talk about our expenses, we talk about our revenues each and every month, probably each and every day. We start meeting with our department directors specifically about the next year's budget in the summer months. And we've met with all of our directors here in the county and have had difficult conversations around with each and every one of them about how do we control expenses and address decreasing revenues and how do we bring the best services possible for the residents of county to the residents of Delaware County to the forefront. And what we'd like to outline today here is what our what we are presenting for 2016. I'd like to ask Councilman John McBlain to come up. John is going to go into a little more depth on our proposal and what we're looking to accomplish in 2016. John? Good morning, everyone. Pennsylvanians have been witness to the consequences of budget dysfunction these past few months, as the Commonwealth stretches into its fourth month without a budget, negatively affecting the services that our residents need, deserve, and have paid for through their taxes, which continue to be collected. While valid policy debate continues between the executive and legislative branches of government, one thing is clear, our residents want and expect their government to do its job, create a budget, and deliver the services that are promised. In Delaware County, we are proud to deliver on time and balanced budgets. Our budget department, executive director, and department heads began to formally prepare the 2016 budget back in August, and that work will continue through the time the executive director delivers her proposed budget to council in early November. However, the budget process in Delaware County is not simply a three-month exercise. Our budget process lasts 12 months a year, as Council is actively engaged with our Executive Director, our Budget Director, the President Judge, and the Department Heads in monitoring the current year's budget and crafting this year's budget. Today, we are pleased to announce that County Council has directed our Executive Director to deliver a no new taxes budget to Council and the residents and taxpayers of Delaware County. 2016 will be the second year in a row that there will be no tax rates in Delaware County's budget. We can attribute this accomplishment to several large factors. We have successfully controlled our expenditures and exhibited strong budget management as cited by rating agencies such as Standard & Poor's and Moody's. We actively engaged in adapting our services and management at Fair Acres and fought for new funding sources from the state and federal governments for our seniors residing at Fair Acres. We also actively engaged with our legislators to help craft a more fair funding formula for our 911 services as contained in the new 911 legislation adopted earlier this year. These efforts, along with dozens of other factors, have allowed County Council to once again propose a no new taxes budget to our residents and taxpayers. This is a good day for Delaware County. Uh, Thank you, John. Um, this is not a decision the council takes lightly. We've worked on this decision for over 12 months now. Um, there's a couple people that really deserve thanks for this besides my council members. Uh, Mary Ann Grace and Jim Hayes are here today, and every single budget director and employee 
and Director of our Community Services, uh, Joe Doherty was here earlier, and all our directors in the courthouse who tighten their belts and, make, and hopefully will make sure that this budget has no tax increase. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming and realize this is not a decision we take lightly. Uh, we were discussing this for, since I've been here in January and we're really pleased with this decision. So thank you all for coming and have a great day. Questions, press How are you able to create a budget when the state and federal figures go out on I think that the portions of the county's budget that the state revenues affect, um, for the most part, uh, have, are, are uh, the same uh, the proposals between the governor's budget and the legislator's budget. Um, we are going into next year preparing that we will receive the same level of revenue and that we have from last year, but for many of the most important parts of our budget, there's really not much, if any, of a difference uh, between the governor's budget and the legislature's budget. As you may know, over 70% of the uh, proposed budget, both from the executive branch and the legislative branch, uh, are agreed on the line items. Um, the governor uh, vetoed uh, the budget despite that and would not enact uh, the blue line budget that would allow his uh, services to continue. But we feel confident that uh, those portions of the state budget that most affect our revenues uh, will continue to be funded at current levels.